You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got a comings and goings, kind of an update here, more of a question, really. So after what we saw happen on Friday's episode, we have to ask, is Austin Gatlin Halt dead? Is Roger Howarth out at GH? Let's talk about it. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And so on Friday, we saw Austin went to the GCPD and said, I will give you what you want. He was talking to Dante. I'll give you what you want. And we know that what Dante wants is info on who orchestrated the kidnapping and all that stuff. And of course, we know it's all Cyrus. And now Mason has gone off to prison. And he basically said, give me immunity, cut me a deal, and then I'll give you what you want. And unfortunately, he didn't really give Dante a lot of specific information. I know that Sonny knows about Austin and Mason being tied to Cyrus. I'm just trying to remember if Dante actually knows that and that's not in my cranium right now. Let me know in the comments if you guys know or if it's just not been mentioned. Obviously, if Dante talks to Sonny, Sonny would probably tell him, but I just, I can't remember if they've had that conversation. Not a lot of people know that, but, you know, Sonny definitely does. And Ava definitely does. And remember, Cyrus already cornered Austin at the hospital and warned him to keep his mouth shut or else. And Austin was kind of freaking out because he's like, look, Mason is threatening to roll over on me. He wants to send me to jail as being the brains behind this Ava kidnapping thing. And then Cyrus turned around and he said, I'm taking care of Mason. And you know, Cyrus really threatened Mason. And so Mason zipped it because he would rather be in prison than be pushing up daisies. And then Austin had also gone to see Ava and she just raged at him. And she said she knows all about his involvement with Cyrus. And she thinks basically he targeted her because of Cyrus, but he's like, no, no, no. You know, I really care about you. And he said that he saved her and, you know, that he did what Cyrus asked so that she wouldn't be hurt. The thing that Ava still doesn't know is that Austin saved Nicholas's life intentionally. You know, I don't know if it was just as a doctor or because he knew that it would be leverage and that Cyrus would want him to. That's a critical piece of information that Ava doesn't know. And after Ava chewed him a new one, Austin just seemed like broken, just very, very upset. I mean, it's looking like he basically fell for Ava, but she says she doesn't want anything to do with him. So he's fresh off being rejected by this woman that he's fallen for or was in the process of falling for, sick of being Cyrus's on-call pet doctor for illegal surgeries, and decided he wanted to change things. And so he went to the PCPD and he, you know, made his pitch. And then he comes home and at the very end of Friday's episode, he saw someone he knew in his house because he said, oh, what are you doing here? Like, it wasn't like, ah, somebody's broken in that I don't know. You know, he said, what are you doing here? So it's clearly someone that he knows. There's no way it's Mason, A, because Mason's gone off to Pentonville and B, I think he would have had a much stronger reaction were it Mason. And then we heard two gunshots and then the scene cut away. And then we came back later in the episode and we see somebody walking out and then we see Austin on the floor, looks like a couple of gunshot wounds to the chest, did not look like he was breathing. It looked very bad. So the two big questions, will Austin Gatlin Holt die and who shot him? Let's talk about the second question first. By all accounts, it should be Cyrus that shot him for going to the PCPD. I wouldn't be surprised if Cyrus had some kind of mall at the cop shop. I mean, we know Sonny does. And, 
you know, there's a slim chance maybe it was Ava that shot him. She's the only other person I can really think of that might have shot him. Ava has killed before. She has ice in her veins when she needs to be, although lately she's kind of a kindler, gentler Ava. And she does know if Cyrus wants something from Austin that Cyrus might do something to her again, might take her again, might hurt her to secure his cooperation. So if Ava did it, she might have done it to protect herself. That's plausible. Cyrus is the bigger candidate. He would not hesitate because as far as he's concerned, Austin already crossed a line by going to the cop shop and talking to them. Austin had no legitimate business at the police department. So if Cyrus is following him or and or has a mole at the police department, he would know that Austin was there clearly to betray him. He's the obvious choice as the shooter. There's a slim chance it was Ava, but... When you factor in one other piece of evidence, it definitely seems like it's Cyrus. That one other piece of evidence was the feet that we saw walking out of there. They look like men's shoes. It's funny because they actually looked a lot like the shoes that uh, Anna's arsonist was wearing, these kind of little black sneakers, except her arsonist had tiny feet, and these look like men's size feet. So that leads me to conclude that it's Cyrus. Now back to the question of, is Austin Gatlin Holt going to die? And if so, does that mean Roger Howarth is leaving GH? So frankly, I I wouldn't mind if Austin died. I love Roger Howarth. I do. But I just have never really cared for Austin. I never felt like Austin clicked, you know. They tried him with Maxi. They tried him with Ava. And Franco and Ava had good chemistry. And so in that aspect, you know, Roger and Mara also have decent chemistry, but it wasn't like her vibe with Franco. I much preferred Franco despite, you know, the whole serial killer thing. I still, I love me some Franco. If they do kill Austin, I could totally see General Hospital just writing Roger Howarth a new role. They've done it like four five times for Michael Easton. I I lose track of how many people Michael Easton has played on General Hospital and that spinoff Port Charles for a while. So, you know, why not do it for Roger Howarth? My recollection was that Roger wanted something new because Franco, for a lot of viewers, was going to always be irredeemable because of that Sam rape thing. And what they did was they did a retcon and they said, oh no, he didn't rape Sam and he didn't have Michael raped in prison. They were trying to clean him up after the fact, even though at the time he did both of those things. And then they said, oh no, he just lied and said she did and gaslit her because he was such a despicable character back in the James Franco days. So I had heard that that's why they killed off Franco and gave him this new character, but this new character just isn't great. And, you know, maybe he's tired of being on here or maybe he's just tired of this character too. I don't know. I would like to see Roger Howarth in a part. You know what would be just wildly, wildly fun, but kind of insane? I'm going to float this by you guys. I'm not saying it's happening. I'm saying this is something that crossed my mind and it intrigued me. So I wanted to share it. What if they kill off Austin and have Roger Howarth as recast Nicholas Cassadine? Because he has great chemistry with Mara. Roger Howarth is 55. Tyler Christopher was 50. That's not a big age gap between actors, you know, the the actor that used to play the role and this actor that might be, you know, seeing his character die. Marcus Coloma was 45. They had aged him down. He looked a lot younger than that, but he was 45. Adam Huss, who last played the part, was 46. So it's actually not a big stretch. It's more of a bizarre stretch because Jeannie Francis is only in her 60s, but they do that on soaps. They they do Soros and stuff. And then you have these women who aren't really old enough to be the mothers of the actors playing them, playing their sons. So, you know, the question is, To me, if Cyrus shot Austin, would he call 911 on his way out so that Austin's life might be saved, but that he could still teach him the lesson of this is what happens if you talk to the police. You get stitches. You get shot, and then you get stitches. So 
you know, Austin lives alone. He's been shot in the chest, looks like twice. If the EMTs do not get there soon, he definitely could die. Unless, you know, Dante's checking on him or a neighbor heard the shots. It, it seems hard to imagine how he'd be saved, but they can always just say, oh, a neighbor heard the shots and, you know, called 911. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you hope that Austin survives this or would you rather see him die and Roger Howorth get a new role? There's no information right now to indicate that Roger Howorth is leaving. Somebody said that he took General Hospital off of his Instagram bio. I don't remember what was on his Instagram bio before, and I did go looking. It's not there now, but maybe it already wasn't. I, I don't know. He hasn't been on Instagram that long. He joined like mid-September. He's kind of a late blooming social media person. So I don't know if he had it on there. If he did have it on there and he did take it off, that is a red flag. I looked everywhere trying to find if somebody had done a screenshot of his bio from before. Couldn't find that anywhere. So I don't know. If he does survive, you know, maybe him trying to go to the police might redeem him somewhat in Ava's eyes you know, we'll see how it goes. That's everything I have. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. Would you miss Austin if he died? Would you rather see Roger Howarth in another role? And what would you think if they recast him as Nicholas? Would that be just insane? I don't know. It might be interesting. And again, not saying it's happening. I'm just, it floated across my brain and I like to share my little brain floaties with you guys. All right. So I'm here talking GH with you guys seven days a week. Come back soon. As always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.